we want to find the gradient vector field of f of x comma y. So notice how we have a function f of two variables, and therefore the gradient of f is going to be a vector field with two components, an x component and a y component. We use this notation here for the gradient of f, and we often say del f, and notice how this is equal to the vector field, where the x component is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x, and the y component is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to y. If f was a function of x, y, and z, then the gradient of f would also have a z component equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to z. So let's find the gradient vector field, then we'll talk about what it tells us about the function, and then we'll also look at this graphically. So because f of x comma y is equal to the natural log of the quantity 2x plus 5y, we'll be using the derivative formula, the derivative with respect to x of natural log u is equal to 1 over u times u prime. So del f, or the gradient of f, is equal to the vector field, where the x component is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x. The derivative of natural log 2x plus 5 with respect to x is going to be, again, 1 over u times u prime, or 1 over the quantity 2x plus 5y times the derivative of 2x plus 5y with respect to x, which would just be 2, because we treat y as a constant. The y component is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to y, which would be equal to, again, 1 over u times u prime, which would be 1 over the quantity 2x plus 5y times the derivative of 2x plus 5y with respect to y. So we treat x as a constant, and so we just have times 5. Simplifying the gradient vector field, or del f, has an x component of 2 divided by the quantity 2x plus 5y and a y component of 5 divided by the quantity 2x plus 5y. Now let's talk about what the gradient vector field tells us about f of x comma y. In many applications, we would like to know in what direction to move so that f of x comma y increases or decreases the most. This direction is called the direction of steepest ascent or steepest descent, and the gradient gives us this information. The gradient at any point x comma y on the surface given by f of x comma y points in the direction of steepest ascent or largest increase, and the opposite of the gradient at any point x comma y gives us a direction of steepest ascent or largest decrease. It's also true that the gradient will be orthogonal or perpendicular to the level curves of the surface given by f of x comma y. So let's take a look at this graphically. On the right side of the screen, we see the graph of the surface given by f of x comma y graphed here in blue, and the yellow plane is parallel to the xy plane. So as the yellow plane cuts the surface, it shows the corresponding level curve on the left, and we also have the gradient of f, or the gradient vector field, graphed here in red. So as we animate the yellow plane, notice how on the left, we'll see the level curve change. And there are two things to notice here. If we pause here for a moment, if we were anywhere along this line on the surface, and we looked at the corresponding gradient, it's going to point in the direction of maximum increase, or steepest ascent, and notice how the gradient vectors are also orthogonal or perpendicular to the level curve. And if we walked in the opposite direction, or the opposite direction of the gradient vector, it would be the direction of maximum decrease, or steepest descent. I hope you found this helpful.